In true Eminem style, <laughs> look who's back! Woohoo! Yes, welcome back to Anderton's TV, to you, the viewer. And to you, Monsieur Chapman. Thanks, Lee. I've missed you, man. I've Even missed everybody. COVID couldn't keep us apart. <laughs> well, that's not true, because it absolutely It has. did for a year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Rob's back. Uh, he's here for two days. So we're going to make as many videos as we can in two days and string these out over the next couple of months, I'm sure. So please, if you've missed Rob, then like and subscribe this video and stay tuned. Um, is so, it just classic that my first video back and I'm blindfolded straight away? I think it's we're like, going to try and keep you blindfolded as much as possible. Less senses for chappers. So, how have you been anyway? Tell us, you know, you've got 30 seconds to well, give look, me the last 18 months worth of... I was that colour when I left. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm that colour now, I'm, I'm, you know, since I've been back. Yeah, that uh, takes so... me 15 minutes to tan that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been good. I've been swimming and working really hard in a flat full of children. So it's been uh, very relaxing, as you can imagine, you know. And music scene in Malta, very different to the UK or similar-ish? Uh, not smaller. Yeah. Much smaller, really hardworking. And pretty exciting, to be honest. I've got a new band for Clockwork, and I'm working with some, some cool artists in Pakistan and uh, India and obviously Gus G and some other cool people. But the most exciting thing is that I'm back in England with you. You know, the, the best thing is as well that we've done the whole of that intro segment with Rob wearing a blindfold <laughs> entirely because I just don't <laughs> want him to see the three guitars that I've put out here. Because, as I'm sure the thumbnail and title of this video suggests, we are blindfold challenging into the realms of can Rob pick out... Actually, I don't even know what the objective of this video is, but we have three guitars here. Uh, and if you guys want to play along with this video, I suggest that you now put your blindfold on. It go right, up, right, <laughs> and right a bit more. There it is. Um, we have three guitars um, that uh, are from... Two famous brands, one really famous brand, one oh. slightly less famous brand. Oh, go right slightly more. Um, <laughs> and uh, they're kind of hard to tell apart, right? Apart from the headstocks. Hence the reason why I've been through Pete's sock drawer, chosen out the only three non-crusty ones that I could find, and tried to obscure uh, which is which. Rob is plugged into the purple Bad Cat behind. Bad Cat is his new favourite bow. Um, we have three guitars here. Uh, we have a tuner pedal on the floor and a channel switching pedal on the floor, and that's it. And what I would like you guys to do now is using the power of thought. Pick a number between one and three. This being one, this being three. Ready, go. They all chose two. They did, didn't they? I, I knew that. It. I picked that up too. Yeah. So here we go. Um, there you are, Rob. Now, Ooh. obviously it's got a sock over the headstock. Can you... So you want me to plug you in if and everything, that's all right, don't yeah, you? please. Yes, of course. Um... It's got, a, it's got a sock over the headstock, so tuning is going to be tricky. Oh, I'm kind of yeah. hoping that they're in tune already. I have tuned them myself. But oh, you, you have know what? Them. This kind of guitar has a bit of a reputation for, for you know, G-strings and all that kind of stuff. So let's see. Your tuner is on, so you are going to have to, um, by the power of... Uh... Just gently nudging Pete's sock feels really wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh... No, that's it. Down now. A bit more to your left. Um, That's wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That was reverb. That's the other. Go down now and that's channel. Go. That's it. But I think you've turned the reverb off. That's all right. No, it's not, it's not. Oh, so out of tune, but. Well, Ooh. I think I know what it is. Well, <laughs> let me take this back off of you for now. Uh, before you give any observations, um, we need actually tuner back on. Hang on. 
ah, and cable out. Uh, would you like to pick a number, either number one or number three, please? I would now, I'm just going to go one. One. Yeah, so that was number two, wasn't it? That was number two. Here is numero un, avec the lead. Um, and uh, again, a crusty sock obscuring its, uh, its make. Okay. Oh, go left, right, sorry. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds nice. Shouldn't have said that, should I? It's because you've been away for a year and a half. You've it's, not been, it's you've not been practicing in the exactly, dark, have you? Exactly. I need to sit at home in the dark and play just to prepare for a year and a half later. Absolutely. Uh, uh, right. This really nice. Like it better or worse than the I first like one? I like it better. Oh, interesting. In <laughs> okay. So, as the guitar aficionados amongst you will have probably surmised by now, we have three guitars here that look a lot like Gibson Les Pauls. However. Only two of them actually are Gibson Les Pauls. Yes. The other one is by a, um, a slightly less well-known brand called Heritage. And if you want to know more about the Heritage story, there's a link up there in the corner that you can go and watch. There is a connection uh, to do with where they were all originally made. Um, Rob, play this guitar, and then your challenge is to tell me which of the two Gibsons and which one is the Heritage. Okay. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> wow, that's a loud pickup. Wow. Super Gainy channel, yeah? Yeah, or, it's really uh, confusing me, this one. Or are you just... Let me take that one back off you. So, for those of you playing at home, um, hopefully you've had your blindfolds on the entire time. Yeah. Which ones do you think? So we had guitars one, two, and three. Rob played two first, then number one, then number three. Which ones did you think were the Les Pauls, and which ones did you think was the Heritage? So, or is it just nigh on impossible to tell? I what, have a what question. Are your thoughts, Am I allowed to know? Can I ask a question? Yes, of course you may. <laughs> so there are three guitars. Yes. How many Heritage? How many Gibsons? Two Gibsons, okay. one Heritage. Now, <coughs> I will tell you 
why we've chosen that. These are the, the two Gibsons are Les Paul standards, USA Les Paul standards. One is a 50s version, one is a 60s version. Okay, the Heritage is a standard H150. They don't do a 50s or 60s version in the Heritage. It's just the H150. It's probably more of a nod to a 59. So kind of like, if anything, maybe a bit in between the two Gibsons. Oh God. Uh, okay, so the first one I played, mm. I think it was a Heritage. Right. Uh, this one here. We'll, we'll do a sock reveal when you take your uh, okay. mask off. The, the number one, which was mm. the second one that I played, mm. was really, really nice and the best of the three. And I, I think it was a heritage as well. Even though literally 60 seconds ago I told you there were two Gibsons and one... Oh, sorry, yes. Okay. <laughs> this is why we've missed Rob. <clears throat> Absolutely pays no attention to anything. But I say. hold on, hold on. Okay. I can still think they're both Gibson. Even if even if I know there's only one Gibson, I could still feel like it's a Gibson. Yeah. I'm trying to save my ass here with you the, are. with the Absolutely. Sort of science uh, fact. Okay, basically number one felt really, really good. So I guess based upon my initial discovery, probably that should be a heritage. And then the third one is probably a heritage. So I think the first one I played <laughs> All three are heritages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so I can tell you that the Let's first one I played was good, the second one I played was really good, yeah. and the third one I played was probably my least favourite. Right. And I can tell you that I think the first one I played was a Heritage, the second one I played, I guess, could have been a Gibson, and the third one I played must have been a Gibson. Well, would you like to demask? But can I tell you something else? Yes. <laughs> this was really, really hard. <laughs> like, I mean, there's, there wasn't really anything to go by yeah there was no like particular difference in shape or feeling or weight or smell or anything it was just here are three less pulls they all have different kinds of feel but they, they didn't there was nothing to go by can i remove this of course you may okay, well so oh. did you agree with rob did you come to the same conclusion have you now taken your masks off shall we <laughs> uh mr rob yeah. would you like to take the sock off uh, let's do guitar number two Sock first. Off, let's, let's, let's play it in the order that you, you, you so, did it. So number one, uh, sorry, the guitar you played first, yeah. which I think you said was your second favourite one, you... Wait, I have an idea. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you, Lee Anderton, who I've missed dearly. Looking at them... Yes. That looks like a Gibson. Yes. That looks like a Gibson. That looks like a Heritage. Okay, well, I'm interesting you say that because one of the things you've, uh, the, the only real visual tell behind the two is the carve of the cutaway is slightly different on the Heritage. Really? So the Heritage oh, has there a, it is. Yeah, so, oh, no. So the Heritage has a slightly, <laughs> we've sort of given away the sock reveal well, now, haven't fine. we? But hey, so anyway. Okay, here we go. So look, <clears> so <throat> we, we talked about the cutaway, slightly subtle tell. You Obviously, the, the toggle switch ring. They don't use on Heritage, oh. whereas they do on, on Gibson. Oh, I didn't feel that at all. Uh, the knobs on the, the Heritage and the, the 60s, sorry, the 50s version are identical. And then on the 60s version, they're very slightly different uh, yeah. looking. The tuners are Grovers on these two and the clues and style ones over here. How interesting that I thought that looked like a Gibson, despite the fact that the horn yeah. is, is at a different angle. I think the most obvious, yeah. uh, obviously, difference and, and the bit that obviously Heritage... Um, you know, can't copy for legal reasons, is the headstock. Um, so, but there we are. I mean, interesting, isn't it? I kind of agree with you. I thought the, the, the number one, the one you played second, yeah. was uh, a lovely sound, really nice clarity to the notes. This is an this, absolute knockout guitar. This was hot. This was hot, wasn't it? I yeah, think very hot. I'm right in saying that um, on the H150 they use Seymour Duncan pickups on them, so mm. they are kind of. Uh, I wish it, it, they removed the word "the" and it just said "heritage." I think it would look a lot more um, understated and refined and cool. I, yeah, I've never. Do you know what? I've never asked them why it's the heritage and not because I don't because they're, they're, they're selling the heritage of Kalamazoo yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But I, I think it would look way classier heritage. Yeah, Hi. I don't think I've if ever referred heritage. to heritage guitars as the heritage. And nobody guitars. will. No, no. Um, like the Rob Chapman is with us today. <laughs> you refer to us. He refers to himself all the time as the Rob Chapman what needs more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the Rob Chapman 
needs to go to the toilet. Everything's third person. <laughs> yeah. So there you are. Look, um, please, please, this is not uh, Anderton's official opinion on which is best. Of course, there is no best when it comes to guitars. There is only what you like the best. Well. Uh, and in this particular video, Rob liked that one the best. I really so did. Play. I really did. They're it's... all the same price, by the way. Um, they are absolutely all, you know, same sort of material, same so, sort so, of finishing. Oh, these are both just standards. They're all, all of these are standards. They're all about £2,200. But this one was so money. much better than that one. Well, I mean, better is a relative term, isn't it? Perhaps you just like the 50s thing more than the 60s thing. Oh. That's 50s, that's 60s. So, again, the, the difference oh, yeah. between 50s and 60s, slightly different neck carve and... Um, Interesting. Slightly hotter, so slightly thinner neck carve, slightly hotter pickups <clears throat> that's compared to the 50. Actually 50s. really useful because I always thought... I prefer the 60s taper because it's slimmer, so you like mm. that, but I don't. I like the See, 50s taper. That's what happens is you get older, Rob, you become a real man. All right, start okay. liking guitars from the 50s. It's like important we to all be do. manly. <laughs> very, very important. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. Bye. Uh, please uh, do stay tuned if you want to see more of this man. Or him. Um, or me, yes, absolutely. Or any of the other uh, wonderful presenters that or we Oz. have on Anderson's TV. Or Oz. Yes, absolutely. Or, or right. Bye. Uh, bye bye. Ah, oh, yes, we've missed the pick throw. That's right, yeah. You need to practice that, though. It was a terrible shot. It was a bad shot.